Well, howdy, folks, and uh, welcome back to the channel. It is O Dark 30 in the morning. I screwed up on uh, my video intro, so uh, we're just going to have to do an audio intro today. At any rate, today we are heading, taking the back roads uh, up to Weeks, Nevada, and then heading out 11 miles to the east to Hooton's Well, and we're going to be setting up a flag position for the uh, Vora slash Legacy Gold Rush Desert Race. It's a point-to-point -point desert race. Uh, they advertise it as Virginia City to Tonopah, but in reality, the start line is going to be outside of Weeks, Nevada, and uh, and it's going to go straight into Tonopah. So it's about a 300 and some odd mile desert race. We're going to be set up at mile 11, and uh, Legacy goes ahead, and they don't call um, the checkpoints, visual checkpoints, they call it a flag position, and they, they give each one of us a, a flag, and so that, that way it's a yellow flag, so we can go ahead and wave a yellow flag uh, to incoming drivers uh, to let them know that there may be a problem down the course um, a ways. So the other thing, too, is that this particular visual checkpoint is, and you'll see a little bit uh, later on, um, why I am where I am. So at any rate, uh, just sit back and uh, enjoy the video. Thanks again. Uh, this is going to be the scariest part of the whole trip. Getting onto this section of highway for the short amount of time that we've got to be on it. And here we are all right well the course went hot uh, just about uh, two minutes ago so I am expecting the first bike through here and uh, I can see the dust in the back in the distance uh, I mean I can point the camera towards the way they're coming from but uh, I guarantee you're not going to see it on camera here so uh, we're at about mile marker 11. They should be averaging, I'm guessing, probably the fast guys should be averaging about 60 miles an hour in this section. There's really, it's not rough at all. There's a couple of spots where somebody could screw up and, uh, you know, really have a rough day. But uh, other than that, um, it's a real fast section, of course. Now, they do have to slow down here uh, because you can see there is a gate right up here that they have to go through, and it is tight. Uh, for the bikes, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, for some of the big uh, trucks, 
uh, it could be an issue. And so uh, they're going to have to slow way down for that. But uh, I don't know how many bikes we've got. You know, bikes and quads we've got. I do know we've got at least one three-wheeler. Um, and there is a side-by-side -side that races in the quad class because it's a little bitty thing. Uh, and so I guess that's how it qualifies to race in the quad class. But at uh, any rate, uh, we'll be out here for a few hours uh, because this is not a loop race. This is a point-to-point -point race. Once the last car off the line passes us, we're done for the day. We can pack up and head home. So at uh, any rate, uh, enjoy. All right, we can hear the bike coming, and he is moving on. Uh, we will get the... Car or the bike number here, hopefully. He was averaging a little bit more than 60 miles an hour because uh, this is first bike off the line was at 0730 and it is 0737. He's at mile 11 and flat out moving. So and they're all going to be pretty close together. Um, because they are so close to the start line. have no wind out here this morning so uh, the dust is going to be going to become an issue because it is just hanging in the air As we can see, the uh, excitement uh, has already gotten to old PFC Butters, and uh, he has uh, got to lay down and take a rest.
bike 906 is through uh, flag position 11. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and shut the camera off for a little bit because uh, they're not even staging for the cars and uh, trucks yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and hang out and wait. All right, we have the truck coming through right now. And they should have good enough course notes to let them know to start slowing down here for this. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear the helicopter, but uh, I don't know if the helicopter's trying to film the the leaders or if they're oh they've got somebody that they're filming there.
That's not good. He's back going. That is a beam car. Anybody was running a beam in class 10 anymore.
don't sound good. Well, it looks like we got one that's pulled, looks like they're pulled all the way off the course. I'll bet you it just shucked the belt. Weatherman, flag 11. Yeah, I just had one pull off the course probably about 100 yards before getting to me. Uh, so. I can't see who it is, no. Copy. As T909 just went through me. Yeah, T975, it stopped. Copy that, Brian. Yeah, you might want to, if you got a yellow flag, you might want to raise it up or something. I don't know. I've had two cars come through, uh, you know, behind him, and nobody's had any problems getting around him. Okay, thank you. Flag 11, go ahead. Hey, I've got 
uh, racing track shows there's four cars stopped on the course, near the course, uh, between you and Top Gun. So Brian's going to head your direction as soon as all the cars get off the line past him. Copy that. Churchill, this is uh, Flag 11. Go ahead, Churchill. Uh, you can add one more to uh, the number uh, just past me. I believe it was T961. I mean, I can see him, but, you know, he's, I can't go to help him. Correct. I see him also. Yeah, we got help will be on the way. before the very first gate.
just got the radio call the last car is off the line but uh, we're not going to be able to take off as soon as the last car passes us the last car off the line passes us because we got one broke down about a hundred yards in front of us and they have a certain amount of time to go ahead and get it fixed to get it squared away so uh, I'll hang here for a little while longer maybe Ooh, I don't know if that caught it on camera, but that was a pretty good pass. There's a couple of them. And vehicle fire is well past uh, where I'm at. Fire is probably one of the scariest freaking things for a race car driver, especially out here in the desert.
Churchill Relay, uh, 11. Yeah, when you get a chance, could you let me know what the last car number off the line was? Yeah, I'll see if I can get that. Start finished, uh, Churchill. Start line, Churchill. Copy that. 1121 was through my position at uh, 1303. Eleven, this is Brian. You'll be seeing my desk. Copy that. Flag 11, go ahead. Hey, uh, are you going to move to the way those two cars are broke down near you? Say again? Say. Okay, I think I've been stepping on you. Okay, let me try. Are you going to move to those two cars that are uh, broken down to see what's going on? Uh, we have um, Brian is at the first one, and uh, I've, I've got to go ahead and pack stuff back in the Jeep, and then I can run up to the next one, uh, the one that's just passed me. All right, folks. Well, all of the cars uh, that took the uh, green flag have passed by me with the exception of uh, one that uh, is actually here at my visual now, um, waiting on their chase crew to come get them. And there's one just a little bit uh, up the road from me that, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, that is, um, they're going to bring him back here. He's broke too. And so, uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to wait until they get that other car back here. And, uh, once the, uh, once the guy that, uh, the sweep, uh, vehicle gets headed on down the course to help the next one, then we're going to head on out of here. So... Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. definitely see we were kind of on the downwind side of the race course today everything's covered in dirt are you covered in dirt too puppy dog yeah I think he's about ready to get uh, loaded back up in the Jeep <laughs>